It is said that a vampire can only fall in love once in their long existence. Whether this is true or not, I, the vampire, Lucas Delmore, after many long years indeed, found such love in the young, handsome man, Toby Brighton. But no sooner had we met, as it can be the way of things, great turmoil arose. My mother of immortality, Lilith, had decided to cleanse the world of humanity for what she believed was the good of the world. Many, including myself, disagreed. A battle ensued. At the last moment, we managed to defeat Lilith and thwart her plan. But after a short-lived victory, Toby, my love, was taken from me, dragged into Hell's realm by Lilith and her followers. I followed, but Toby had vanished. Now I continue my search, hope being the only warmth in my covert period. How many people have you said that to in the last 1,500 years? Only one. So, how much do you love me? Enough to give you a piece of the sun. My love for you is more real than all the sun and stars in the sky. It burns more intensely in my heart. You are life itself to me, Toby. Lucas, you know this isn't true. No. You know I'm not really here. Toby, no. Toby, no! Lilith, touch me, Lucas. No! You are in here! Take 
demon will face the same fate as your brothers. Jeez, what's up? Did you hear that? Hear what? John, we're in the middle of a farm. It'll, it'll just be a dog. <laughs> Some dog? Well, maybe it's a big gay werewolf who's gonna come and pin you down and give it to you doggy style. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Mike. Come here. If you want an animal, I'll give you an animal. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm in a hurry and I need you. Chanuk, la merda vampir. Arnuk, clava mor. Damn it! So nuk be fatty! a lot more noise last time we met. It was a couple of centuries ago, I'm sure. But certainly a lot more noise. Your spell will only last so long, traitor. Give up this insane plan, and we will show mercy. But I only need a short time, Tara. that I promised I'd never end a human's life without giving it the ever-life in return. You will awake confused, but alive. Look! 
curse. We must leave. No. Tell me. Lucas, listen to me. A lot has changed since you have been gone. We must leave now. No. I must go back. Lucas, there's no way back from here now. You got me here. Now you send me back. It's not possible. What? I don't think so, Tara! Prepare to die! I don't think so. <laughs>
come. Let us leave before the rest arrive. Back to mine. No. Lucas, I don't believe Toby's there. What? Listen, after we've cleaned up, there's somebody I want to introduce you to. I desire nothing but to find Toby. Me too. But my mum and dad want to meet the man partly responsible for my brother's disappearance. All in good time. Now come. have formed their lines and blended in perfectly. The first stages have been completed and the breeding commenced. Good. And what of our patient? Alive, well, and truly bound by spell and charm. He is sheltered from all sides. He is completely transparent to all on the outside. Excellent. Good. Our goddess will be pleased. Yes. Not even the gods can find him. <laughs> <coughs> Your healing still going <coughs> slow? It's going as quickly as it can. Let me see. You know I possess the skill. Yeah, need no one's help! I will be whole again soon enough. Now go! Follow the course at hand. As you wish. One more thing. What is it? The twins have failed. And chaos succeeded. And Lucas has returned. What? Lucas! <laughs> Lucas! You've been the bane of my immortality for too long. I will see an end to it. I will crush you beneath my feet like the pestilent worm you are. <sighs> His fits grow worse. No matter. We have been given our orders, and if you value your life, you will continue the work given. Enough! I shall attend to it myself. Out of my way! Must I do everything myself? Bleed him again, and take twice the amount. All is well, at least for now, Brother Thomas. But it gets worse day by day. The goddess has forbidden the use of any sedation apart from that given by the craft. I don't know how much longer we can hold him. Maybe it's time to use the cage, brother. Not just yet, but if this carries on, I might let you have your way. I would have this sorted in no time. If he'd let me. And the goddess would know her true servants. Yes, she would. I didn't 
bother with the hobnobs, because now you lot don't eat them. And you, you could do with not eating any, dear. Mum! I thought that was a nice, appropriate colour for you. Thank you. I don't blame you, you know. Pardon? About Toby. And all this mess. Oh. That's very kind of you. Things happen. Do they? These things happen. But they can get better. They must. Mrs. Reuter. Please call me Anthea, dear. Anthea, I swear I will bring your son, Toby, home. I will not rest a single moment until he stands before you, safe and sound. You have my solemn word. Then I hold you to your word, vampire. Bring home my son to me, no matter what you have to do. I promise. How much does he know? It's been a whole year, hasn't it? Not much. Well, then I think you need to fill him in. And before Ron gets back, you know how my husband hates the mention of everything that's happening. And all this toing and froing from one place to another. Although we are truly grateful for the use of your house. You are welcome. My husband's not a man that deals with change very well and with everything else on top. Yes, I agree. But you know this has been necessary. Yes, I understand. And so must you. Mum. I know. Are you with us, Lucas? Yes, Mikkel. Tell me everything. Good. Then I'll tell you everything we know. Good morning, Eden. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. Father. It is with great pride and excitement that I speak to you all upon this morn. As you know, since the patronage of our most generous benefactor, we at Eden have never known such success, both in academic pursuits and also sporting endeavors. Now classed as one of the highest ranking private colleges, not just in the United Kingdom, but throughout Europe, we show only excellence 
from each and every one of our students. Never before in any academic establishment has this ever been known. A student of Eden is a student of the highest accolade. But I am sure that my words of praise, though dutifully deserved, are most certainly not the reason why all of us here on this day are brimming with delight and excitement. As promised, our benefactor will make her pre-graduation appearance. So without further hesitation, let us all put our hands together and give a warm and sincere welcome to our guiding governess, Miss Lilith Eden. Graduation day is nearly upon us. Each and every one of you should be proud at your rise in excellence. Each of you should rejoice as a member of the new world's elite, a new generation for a new age. In a matter of days, all the long hours of study and endurance will be rewarded, and each of you will walk forwards into this bright, unassuming world to spread the wisdom gained and the gifts bestowed upon you all. Every student of Eden is a leader in their own right. Send her to my chambers. My goddess, I regret to inform you, Lucas has returned. What? I borrowed it for today, your visit. Special occasion, I'm sure she won't mind. Stop. Your eyes. A gift from my mother. I said stop.
It's finally happened. After all this long time, that cold heart of yours has finally found some warmth. And you have never? We've been discovered. Cullen sent them first. They're closing in from the north and the east. Inside. We cannot afford a fight with humans with us. We don't have time for this. Well, you might not eat, but we do. Shift it! We've got company! This is Esther and Eve's good. Two of the leaders of my coven. Goddess, they've got banshees. We shall leave them on a merry chase. Ready, love? Always. As soon as we've gone, take them to Eve's groups. Oh, bloody vampire is gay! Not at all, dear lady. Some of us are quite greedy. If we want to escape without a fight, we'd better go now. Just like the old days. <laughs> girls are going to get this. I'm not leaving you. Mum, I'm a big girl. Listen to her, love. I'm not leaving you, Charlotte! your decaying stench anywhere. I am so disappointed in you, Marcus. Forgive me, my goddess. Just give me an opportunity to prove my worth. Already I have discovered the location of Lucas and the Brighters. I have dispatched my dogs to root them out. I forbid you to personally attack Lucas. He knows you too well, and your weaknesses. No. You must let me seek my revenge. Very well. But you do not go alone. Eve! 
fetch Gecko and Boone. But we can't have you looking like that now, can we, Marcus? You are to aid my general here, as you would myself. Follow his every command. Seek out, and once and for all, destroy Lucas Delmore and all his brood! We exist to serve. We thirst for the blood of our last fever. He was shielded from all fights. He was, brother. We've, we've been betrayed by one of our own. I saw Brother Simmons' body drained of blood in the garden. Now, in the day I saw him with an immortal, I assumed he was one of our own. Fool! You know what our goddess will do to us. Come! At least they didn't get as far as him. Close the doors. No one, no one gets in! Was it not I that showed you back from the Hell's Realm? The young vampire's blood is unique. He is of two vampiric bloodlines. One through his birth from the diluted line of Marcus, your general. And the other from Lucas himself through his sire. This is the perfect mix to bring about a rise of brand new vampire. One which will reap your revenge upon the world of men once and for all. No one will stand in their way. Very well. Until next time.
Hurry, come! into quite the mighty witch that she is. Which brings us to the reason we first came round to yours tonight. We got a lead on Toby. What? Calm it, Bumpy. As I was saying, we picked up a brief glimpse of Toby, enough to warrant us summoning our goddess Hecate to see whether she could help us possibly discover his whereabouts. But if Lilith is hiding him, we still may not be able to break through the binding. You must try, at all cost. We will, we will. Seeks audience. Ah, Lucas, the way to you is bad. No, I demand you summon your goddess. You may be shroud of demon fat, but Lilith bars the way of summoning. No, there must be a way. Answer me, demon. Ah, clever, Lucas, clever. I grant you this one. Find he who breathes no more. Heart is cold, yet beats still. He will take you to our darkest mistress. For if you cannot summon Hecate, you must go to her. Hear me, gatekeeper. Show me the way. Now let me be. Did you get all that? 
Yes. Thank you, Charlotte. Love, are you okay? You gave us quite a fright. I'll say. Nearly shit myself. I know where he can be found. You do? Yes. But only two can cross at any one time. Well, I'm going. You may be a witch, Charlotte, but only the undead can cross to Hecate's realm. But no buts. Let us make haste. Feed! Toby, you need to feed! You be bled! And you will be weak! I will not kill him, Paul! Then I will. Where are you going? Find Lucas. Lucas is dead. Lie. No, it's the truth. <laughs> Don't lie to me, Paul. When you yourself supposed to be dead, Lucas lives. I feel it. Toby, let me explain. I don't lie. Didn't I save you? Telling the truth. And yes, I did die. But as I lay there, half in my own hell, and half still aware of my unbeating heart, I sensed something wet against my mouth. It was Anthony's blood. And that's when Antonio found me. I see you found him. This is Antonio. He helps me find you. And this is his club. Oh, poor Tati is true, Tati. I mean you no harm. But also what he says is equally true. Lucas Damo, your lover, is surely dead. <sighs> yes. He followed you into Hal's room and never returned. What have I said about the rules? No feeding nowhere near the club. Bring him inside and I get security to clear that up.
to go. Look, Charlotte, I've told you. You might be a witch, but you're still immortal. You can't come back. Bloody vampires. how security is dealing with the mess you've left out back. This is the last time. Delmore, I've been expecting you. Great mother. Please, we haven't time for formalities. Lilith has gone too far. How dare she stop people speaking with myself? My faithful guardian Boone has told me of your plight. Come, there isn't much time if you want to find Toby before Lilith regains her strength over him. I am she who went to my heart ways. I am she who opens the doors. A crossroads of cross am I. Give me now what I desire. thing has Lilith written all over it. Either the goddess or her servants should be all over this place any second. Oh no. They're here. You tell them the past? No. I'm not going to risk looting you again. Look, we'll go through the club. 
Only if you stranders are left at the end of the night. The stench of the human meat are hiding enough for us to get away. And clean yourself off and hide those. Charlotte will now know where her brother is. And if you see my sister Lilith, tell her she's pissed me right off. Listen, as it is my way, I know what is to be and what is about to come. This is something that you and only you must do. Remember your promise, vampire. <sighs> Fool! You rat imbeciles! You pieces of worms! Excrement! How? <sighs> My goddess, we know not how. Did you not say that you had blocked all communication with your sister, Hecate? <laughs> yeah. Let us see how Marcus fares, shall we? another day. Go for No, Toby, I swear. I didn't know. I was told Lucas was dead. No! Toby, I swear! I swear! waited some time for this moment, Lucas. I fear you will be somewhat disappointed, Marcus.
Watch out, Toby. This white ghost paralysis is too hard now. Let him try. See if she will show you the same mercy.
Toby. One thing we don't do is sleep. Can't we pretend a bit longer? He is my son as well, you know. What's keeping them? Men. Come, we have lots to do, and you've neglected your parents, which is most rude. Oh, shit. You're so loud. Nice to see my son at last. A oh, bit too hard, love. Oh, sorry, Mum. Don't forget. Come here. No, I'm not happy about it. What are you two arguing about? I have made contact with one of Lilith's closest servants. And I have told him it's far too dangerous. I could easily get the information we need from him. And we do need to know what Lilith is up to. I want to come. I have the skill to pass unnoticed. But you don't. But hush! I am older than you and as such faster and stronger. I didn't desire you to put you in any unnecessary danger. Please, Colin. Trust me. It'll be fine. He's immortal and goes to his church unprotected. Is this true, Semak? Of course it's a true, Lucas. The immortal is headmaster at the college where Lilith resides. He leaves the college every Thursday to visit his old church. Clearly he has some religious issues and therefore will not be as easily under Lilith's control. I'm pretty sure I could persuade him to talk. I'm sorry, Cullen. We must know what Lilith is up to. If that is what our prince decrees, then so be it. Not your prince, but a friend. Oh my God, forgive me my sins. I know not what I do. I beg the blessing of the Most High and the Blessed Ever-Virgin and her womb, Jesus, the Saviour to save my mortal soul. Priest, I am the way and the light, and he whosoever drinks of my blood shall live forever. But Father, today is not your lucky day. My children, my elite of Eden, you may wonder why I have called you here all so suddenly. I... Unfortunately, our headmaster, Father Dalman, will not be attending today's assembly, and will alas miss out on the wonderful surprise I have in store for you. But never mind, my Illumini of Eden, it is with great pleasure I wish to inform you all that I have decided to bring your graduation forwards. We stand at the brink of a new era, a new age, and at the rising of this very evening's moon, each and every one of you shall be duly blessed and honoured by being given their graduation!
So what are we going to do when we find out what Lilith is up to? I know nothing until the Sam returns. It must be something to do with why her followers were taking my blood. Nothing will ever take you away from me again. Nothing. I swear. Come to me, Toby. Come to me. Let me prove you can trust me. Come. Come. Don't listen to him, Toby. It must be a trap. It's not a trap. Lucas, I'm responsible for... You're responsible for nothing. But I am. If I'd have stopped Anthony before he'd bitten him, he'd be just fine. The fault lies with me. Lucas, something must be wrong. And it's my responsibility. Toby, no! Look, if I can't talk any sense into you, I'm sure your sister will. Look, wait here! I told you. You told me what? That I'll show you. That I'll prove to you just how much I love you. What? Look. Shh. I have a present for you. Paul, what are you going on about? And whose blood is that? Just wait. Come see. Come, Toby. Come look at what I've done. What I've done for you. For us. She meant nothing to you. Nothing. I did it for you, Toby. To prove to you, once and for all, that I'm yours. She meant nothing to me. Nothing! I was just confused. Confused? Oh my God, Paul. Insane! No, Toby.
just go. Things are very bad, and this is no normal storm, as I'm sure you've sensed, Lucas. Yes, I know. Toby, we must go now. No, Toby! Paul, you're dead to me. No, Toby! Toby! My children of the new eon, in your hand is the cup of life, the essence of a new generation, of my blood and those of the ancients. Lives upon lives, bloodline from bloodline. You are of the new Eden, and so shall be reborn in my image. Raise your glasses now and drink to the quintessence of a new age. <laughs> I am she who walked from the light and embraced the darkness. I am she whose life is everlasting. Born out of chaos, free of the bonds of men and of the false gods. Life is mine to give and take away. Born am I! Born am I in your awakening! Sounds insane, but insanity is Lilith's middle name. Well, before I bled the old priest completely, who, by the way, tasted revolting, old wine and nicotine, the old fart coughed up the whole thing. Lilith had been bleeding Toby for months, using his mixed bloodline, combined with her own, and some of her high priest's magics, to form some sort of high elixir, which she means to use to create an army of hybrid vampires. We must stop her at all costs. Now! Lucas, I fear it's too late. We must go. What? Where? Our goddess awaits. This is the fall of man, as proclaimed by our dark mother herself. I will not accept this! Hecate knew you would be stubborn. But she said you were to remember your promise. That's it. We're going. Grab supplies. And whether you like it or not, little witch, we move at vampiric speed. I'll carry you. Uh... Now go! Fly! Be as a plague upon this land. Feed, cleanse, and multiply. Leave nothing and no one untouched. Except the children. No child shall be harmed. That is my law. After all, we will need cattle to feed on in the new world. Now go! Fly! My word.
two of the most remarkable children. Not even Lilith can get through that. We all must be famished. I know I am. I'll wake mum and dad. No, they will not wake. Wait one minute, my goddess. Do not worry. They will be safe. The road ahead is not for mortals to tread. They will sleep and awaken when I will so. This is something that our great mother told us would come to pass. Though I did not understand it at the time. What? Bambi, you need to start talking some sense. I'm sorry, my goddess. I can get a little bit crampy in the morning. What Lucas says is true. This was foretold a millennia ago. Not everything can be revealed straight away. Prepare yourselves for what is about to come. So what is it we must do? We must summon the gods. Great and powerful goddess, all bodes well in this new world. Good. It is as expected. The humans have given little or no resistance. Britain, as much of Europe, has fallen. Excellent. The newborn and the newly sired are being gathered together for the second wave. Lilla! Now, now, sister, temper. I have come with a formal demand. What? As is decreed by the ancient magic, each one of us has the right to call to counsel another immortal, should they believe that that immortal has overstepped their mark. And now I execute that right. Lilith, I call you to face the accusation. I put upon you a wrongful genocide without the unanimous agreement of the order of our immortal brothers no! and sisters. No! No, you bitch! My goddess, are you all right? Ah! Don't ask stupid questions.
on, girls. I suggest you begin a protection spell this minute. My sister won't be far behind me. Shit, I'm on it. The ancient magic forbids us to attack one another, but you are all fair game. Oldest stone and hardest form. Doors on doors and walls on walls! That's my little room. Now come you two, let's give my brothers and sisters a call. Brothers, sisters, hear my call. Clever little witch. We meet again. For God's sake, shift it! My sister Lilith has overstepped her position. 
and broken one of our most ancient laws. This is preposterous, brother! My sister here is letting her love for the children of Eve cloud her mind! How dare you! On what grounds do you accuse your sister and mother? Genocide of a race without all the gods' permission is strictly forbidden. Oh, sister, I have but enhanced what was. Only a few who were weak have died. Most others have been reborn. Yes, but the race known as humanity is no more. You have taken it upon yourself in your madness to wipe out all traces of what was once human. I did what is rightfully mine! Am I not a goddess of the earth itself? The domain over all that lives on this planet is mine! It is not totally yours, sister. I'm afraid what my sister mother says is correct. No. The domain is also that of those who live upon this world. I will not accept this! But you must. <sighs> it is too late! <laughs> ah, but have you forgotten what our brother's domain is, sister? What? What you require of me deserves a sacrifice. No! No! I will not accept this! Enough! I have made my decision. Go! You displeased me. I see there's one who thinks himself equal to the gods. It would please me to see you kneel. I have decided upon my sacrifice. And that is? As my domain is of time and space, I shall grant you what you desire. That all this should not have come to pass. All things shall be as they once were, and a new course shall be set. But, under the condition that the love I see before me shall be no more. Yes. We agree. You ask me to give that which I hold more dear than life, that which I have searched through the bowels of hell for decades for, that which is all I desire, my life, my love. Yes. Yes. What gives you the right to demand of me my own, my heart, my love? What gives you the right to take that? which is life itself to my cold heart. Being a god, what gives you the right to make the rules, to move the dice of chance? Is not love the greatest gift of the gods? I make my own life, my own path, and I make my own choices.
decades, I wandered through the realms of chaos, looking for my only love. There, I fed on the blood of gods, ancient gods, gods before all that was. The blood of those gods now lives in me. told you all of this was going to happen? Well, not everything. And you never considered sacrificing our love? The thought never crossed my mind. Toby, you are mine now and forever. And ever. And ever. Sorry guys. Shit hit the fan. What?
Tell 